Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about F2 visa. In fact, we have had a lot of questions about F2. And today we are going to give you enough information about what F2 visas are or what F2 visa is, advantages, disadvantages in getting F2 visas, and the process that you need to go through. We will end with the document as well. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please try and leave a comment in the comment section. So Paul, tell us, you have gone through the F2 process. You are in the US with your wife and your wife came through F2. How did you do the process? But before that, tell us what is an F2 visa? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. So the F2 visa is a dependent visa. Um, it is also within the non-immigrant visa category, so it falls within the same category as F1, J1, J2, B1, B2, that kind of thing. All of them are non-immigrant visas. But the F2 specifically is a dependent visa for um, the dependent of the F1 student. And the dependent could be a spouse or could be children. Um, and they are direct dependents. So the mother of the F1 student will not qualify for F2 the mother will qualify for something else, but not F2. Um, but the spouse of the F1 student and the children of the F1 student would qualify um, as uh, F2 students. Now, let me clarify that the children must be under the age of 21 years old. Um, if the child is beyond the age of 21 years old, they are technically considered adults. And by that, they will need to file for themselves and not on um, their parents' uh, visa. So essentially, it's a dependent visa for F1 um, for the dependents of the F1 student. It could be a spouse, it could be a child under the age of 21 years. And uh, as for who qualifies, essentially, it's the dependent of the F1 student. But you know, sometimes people will ask, okay, so do we need to apply together, or we can apply later? You, it's both. Like you can apply together with the F1 student while the F1 student is applying or uh, you can apply later after the F1 student is already gone to the United States. And that's what I did, I applied later. Yeah, so Paul, let me come to applying mm -hmm. together. Uh, people say that when you apply together with your family, mm -hmm. it is difficult to, or it may be difficult to get a visa because all your family are living. And as we talk about ties, it, it will really show that you have a ties back to your home country. How, how do you, nuances how do you go yeah. about it uh, when if i apply with my family that suggestion or that mindset well i mean it depends on your story right uh like we said you know if you're concerned about proof of ties and we've made a lot of videos about ties to your home country and we you know explained the fact that your family alone is not enough to even prove your ties to your home country so i will not go so much into that but um you know, what I would say is that if you're concerned about uh, proof of ties, then maybe you shouldn't. Um, however, even the consulate advises that students try to apply together as a family when you are doing. And that's what, in hindsight, I would do. The consequence when applying together, however, is that the expected funds that you're supposed to prove uh, availability of is usually high. Because if, let's say, the F1 student, as a single student, is going to the U.S. and needs 30000 because you are coming with the spouse, there's probably going to be an additional 12000 That will be 42000 And there's going to be an additional, what about 1000 for a child. So if you have four children and all of you are applying, you probably will need about 100000 right? And so looking for that money at once is always very difficult. And that's why sometimes people will go the other way around by applying afterwards. Um, but um, if you should ask me, I would, I would say like, if you can, applying together usually has advantages because it's easier for them to, you know, see you and sort of understand and, you know, look at you as a family and interview you as a family and approve all of you together as a family. Um, but like I did, essentially, I did not apply together with my, my wife at the time because, you know, there was a whole lot of story behind that, which I don't want to go into. But it, for me, it made more sense for me to sort of go 
settle, find my place, sort of you know, know what life here is like before bringing uh, a dependent um, to come and live with me. So if you're also thinking about the money and you know reality of life and all of those things, then it is best for you to go um, alone and then you know, your spouse and your children will come later. But you know, essentially what I'm saying, it depends on your story, it depends on how rich you are, depends on you know how well you appreciate life and how well you understand marriage.